I love hydrogen. It's one of my favorite elements and one of my favorite demonstrations is just to fill a balloon with hydrogen and hit it with a little bit of flame. So I tie a candle to the end of a meter stick and I'll light up the candle, get it close, stand about a meter back and watch hydrogen go. My favorite reaction. Now I thought that maybe if I put a, a helium balloon next to it, you'd really be able to see just how far that explosion goes out. The other thing I really like to do is turn a Pringles can into a rocket. And all you need to do this is obviously a Pringles can. You take the top off of it and then rip the fresh seal off of the top. You gotta make sure you get rid of that part. Then you're going to take the lid and you're going to push it back on, nice and snug. And you need a pair of scissors, and I like to find the little Pringles man eye there and poke a hole right in the eye, just because I can be consistent that way. The hole needs to be big enough for my hydrogen tube. I'm going to pop a hole in the bottom, which is now going to be the top, and that's where the gas is going to be able to come out. So I hook that back up to my hydrogen tank and I fill it up. Now I want to fill it all the way up with hydrogen to get all of the oxygen and the other air out of there. That way it'll burn for a second instead of completely reacting with the hydrogen and uh, or with the oxygen and blowing up. But you're gonna see it blow up in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna light this bad boy up. I'm gonna take that off the top, light it. There we go. Ready, flame. Oh, you see the flame coming off the top? Perfect. But wait, the big's coming. Come on, baby. Oh. That's how we eat our tater chips. Mmm. Yeah. Wrinkle cannon. I figured if I could do that with a Pringles can, why couldn't I do this with a plastic bottle as well? So I took a nail and I got that nail heated up. And the reason I'm heating it up is so that I can easily get a hole inside a bottle. Now I'm trying to do the same thing that I've got with the Pringles can. So putting a hole in the bottom, which is now gonna become the top, so that the gas can escape out of that. Putting a hole in the side that's large enough that I can fit my hydrogen tube inside so that I can fill this whole thing up with hydrogen gas. I got a ring stand and then I got an iron ring. Then all we need to do is fill it up with hydrogen and let her rip. Like to put a stopper in the bottom, but I use a stopper that has a hole in it so that that oxygen from the outside can be pulled up into the bottle and that way I get the nice pop when the mixture of hydrogen and oxygen is just right inside the plastic bottle. Turn this thing into a rocket. So again, I'm evacuating all the other air out of there. I just want it filled up with hydrogen so it doesn't blow up in my hand. Put the stopper on the top to hold the gas in. That was awesome. Oh, jeez, guy, quick. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. All the way to the moon. That's where hydrogen can take you. All the way to the moon. Nice. A hydrogen gas is lighter than the air around it, so I figured. Well, what if I set up a torch here and then I started to blow some bubbles with the hydrogen gas and uh, I figured I'd see what would happen. Well, I make my own bubble solution out of glycerin and Dawn dish soap and distilled water and then I just got on the ground and started blowing some bubbles and letting them float up into the flame. 
It turned out to be awesome. So I was down on the ground with the hydrogen tank with a simple bubble wand, blowing bubbles. And finally, the hydrogen fireball. So here's the game plan. Got the hydrogen, I'm gonna bubble it into my bubble solution, get a whole handful of hydrogen. Well, first, I'm gonna get my hands wet, then I'm gonna pick up the bubbles, and I'm gonna light it. And we should be able to see a good pop in my hand as that hydrogen reacts with the oxygen in the air. So here we go. Let me get my hands wet. I'll light this up. Grab it. Ah. <laughs> Big bubbles. Look at them, they're floating away. Okay. That's probably good. Oh no, they floated away. This out of the way, here we go. <laughs> and thanks for watching. You can always come over to BLScience.com where there's new videos popping up all the time and I've got a lot of other instructional things. And of course, you can always visit straight through YouTube at youtube.com slash Beals Science. I get questions all the time from people wondering what it is I do in my classroom to get my students' attention. And you've seen some of them today. I've found that a little bit of fire, a little bit of loud noise is a really good way to keep students interested in science.